Congratulations on winning the conference. Thank you. How much does that carry over momentum-wise for you guys, or does it at all, going into this week? Well, we'll find out Friday at 12. You know, I'm hopeful that, you know, they enjoy what they've done. Um, you know, I'm excited, you know, for our seniors and, you know, for Matt, because, you know, he obviously had a lot to do with that. Um, but, um, you know, when you consider we haven't won one in a long time and the way everybody celebrated after us winning, I guess it was a big deal. So I, I hope we can build on that. The conference tournament last year was not good for you guys. Has that been a motivator at all this year, or do you even mention that? Oh, we talk, we talk about, you know, games we lost during the season um, that, that may, may be impacted our, our year. Um, bring up South Florida, bring up the Louisville game here. You know, we brought up that game, um, obviously, because there was similarities in all of them. You know, adversity hit and we didn't handle it well. Um, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna, you know, harp on what happened last year because this is, it's not. I don't think it's the time and place. I think what we got to talk about is what we need to do better. And uh, there's not a lot of things you can prepare for right now. So you, I think the hope is that we build on the things that are important. And you know, with us. You know, we got to rebound, defend, share the ball, and take care of the ball. I think that's critical. And then we got to get Ben Moore and Ben Amalagu more involved where, you know, they become more of a, a factor because, you know, if we're fortunate enough to play two straight nights or three straight nights, you know, your bench is really critical. Um, so. So that's going to be a goal for all of us. This conference did great in the tournament last year. How much, the American, how much, do you feel that's a good fit for SMU? I mean, obviously, when you got here, it was the Big East. You were thinking Big East, but it's been a transition. How, how, do you guys fit a good fit in the American, do you think? Um, you know, that's hard, because I don't know how they perceive conferences. Obviously, they didn't think much of our conference last year. And I have, you know, the, I can brag about the fact that Connecticut won the national championship after coming in tied with us or even behind us because of the tiebreaker. And uh, I can talk about Louisville, you know, was a four seed after how great they were. But my greatest defense now about our conference is Louisville lost Hancock, Jones, Russ Smith, I can't think of the other six, eight, or nine role players. But they were a heck of a lot better team last year than they are this team. They got a double bye in the best, one of the best conferences. So, you know, you want to make a case and all these reasons. You go in the NCAA, you didn't get in the NCAA, you're a bubble team, you're four in. Well, my case is this is a hell of a conference. Um, you know, I think some coaches have done incredible jobs with their team, and I'm hopeful that people recognize that um, and we're part of that you know so every every time we play if if we play up to a high standard I I'm hopeful it helps but I I have no idea what the criteria is um, and I I just know that we got to take care of ourselves and I'm hopeful other teams in this conference get what they deserve it's like early in the development of the conference, and you guys are a big part of it, obviously. First this year, you know, into the tournament. So I don't know if that was the, you take any special pride in that. Oh, yeah. I mean, um, I think this is, this is a great, great conference. And, you know, that was one of the factors, you know, I thought when, when we got here that was so intriguing because you, you know, you, you can make an argument that Big East has been the best.
best conference or one of the best for a number of years. So I thought, wow, us going into that conference, that would be really unbelievable for SMU. Um, we're not the Big East, but we're still a, a very, very strong conference. And, and it's a very young conference. If you look around our league, most of the players are coming back. So to be part of that is, I, I think it's great for SMU. Um, and to think that we've been able to compete on a pretty high level with these quality teams, you know, we should all be proud of that. How much has Marcus improved? Oh, he gets he better. He really come on. I, I don't look at it, you know, as him coming on. He's He's got a chance to be really special. That's, just what happens between here. I, I think we got to get his family at every game. Seems like when his family is here, he plays at an unbelievable level. One that he's capable of. Um, and I'm, I'm hopeful he, he just builds on, you know, what he did, you know, Sunday because we don't, we don't win the game without Cannon or without Marcus playing at such a high level. Does Cannon start Friday night? Uh, we'll morning. think about it, but um, you, you know, I always have a problem thinking that you start somebody and you don't start another person. You think, well, wait, maybe he didn't play play good enough. So I've I've always been real careful about that. But I look at Marcus and Cannon as starters, just like Yannick and Ben. So I don't know, but Cannon was great. It's his senior year. Um, who knows?